Hello my beautiful bombshells and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cherry Jess and in today's video I'm going to be creating a look with the items that I have in the BoxyCharm uh, premium and base box for April. They were the ones that were in the part one of this video. I'm going to be using it now today in this video to create a beautiful look for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Also, at the end of this video, you want to stay to the very end so you can find out the three lucky winners of my very first Cherry Lux Beauty Giveaway. I'll be announcing the names on the video. You'll see the names being picked out. So I'll be contacting the winners soon to get the information and mail them out their boxes. In the meantime, hang around, relax, and stay tuned for the video of creating a beautiful look on this beautiful face. Okay. As you can see, I'm back. I've already put some foundation on. I did my eyebrows, got some concealer under the eyes, so I'm good to go. So let's start right away into it, getting into the uh, Living in Color Hank and Harry palette. I used the brush to conceal around my eyes from my eyebrows and the spoolie, so I used the, uh, what's it called? The Lavish Brow Groomer. So that one's done. So let's go into with the big one here, which is the tapered blending one. And what color do I want to use here? Okay, I'm going to start with the uh, lighter of the shade as my transition shade. And that would be, I guess it would be Rusty Edge. It's in the bottom row, right? So let's see. Yeah, Rusty Edge, this one here. So I like it. The color is very pigmented. It's nice deep color and it's blending out beautifully so very easily too I'm not having that much difficulty blending out so I like it I've never tried the Hank and Harry brand yet this is my first time and I'm impressed so far been meaning to wanting to just never got around to it because there were so many other things that I wanted more I guess so it was a little more like uh, I want it but not as much as I want something else so that's what I'm going with Okay, so that's that. All right, let's see what other color now I want to use. Hmm, kind of want to dip into the browns. Then again, I like the blues too. Is that dragon blood? I believe it's called. Yeah, I believe it's dragon blood. I'm stamping that right there. I like the way these are blending, I really do. Okay, cool. So, what color do I want to go with now? I want to use one of the blues. I think I want to use these two here. Actually, there's a purplish one over here that I'm kind of digging right now. So I don't know if I should go with the purple. Well, I do have purple on me, so I should go more purpley. All right, let's get some concealer on my eyeball. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the crease here. I didn't do that great of a job, but it'll do for now. And what I want to do is um, go ahead and start using some of these purpley, pinkish colors up here. They're like glittery. Okay, this is going to take forever with this little brush. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a different brush because we're going to be here a while with this. I'm going to grab a Morphe. M166 brushes. Bigger, flatter. Let's see how that works out. That's a little better. 
And just for the hell of it, I think I am going to go with faux show, which, which is the color in the middle is more pinkish on the other side of the brush. It's like a coppery pink. I don't know how to explain it. Well, let's see what it looks like on. Go back in with the brown here. Fill that back in since some of the concealer kind of rubbed off on it. I gotta darken it back up. There we go. Let me go back to the other eye now with the original purple color in Sultry Sin. So that's what it's looking like so far. All right. So what I think I want to do is take that little pencil brush that I didn't get to use, rub some of it off. And I'm going to go ahead and use that peacock blue, maybe, or this one, this one, which is called Boys Toys in the middle. And take it on the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this gold here, which is called La Canela. And maybe, um, let me let's try some of this blur spray real quick just to dampen the brush. And I'm gonna take it on my inner corner here. My bad. Let's see if I can with the same brush without trying to change it up. Oh, there we go. A little highlight on my brow bone there. Not bad. Let's try that again. Sharpen things up here. Make sure everything's nice and Diffused and buffed out. Take some of the brown on the bottom here, for the corner here, under the blue. Give me a more extent. Oh wait, this eye's tearing as usual. Go back in with the blue. Where did I have the blue? This one. It seems a little washed out right there. Okay, so that's done for now. And I am making a mess of my concealer here. So we're gonna leave that as it is for now, move on to other things. For instance, I wanna go ahead and sharpen that line up with underneath there with some concealer. So I'm gonna take that brow pencil brush that I had earlier and use on my Kind of dab a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take the sponge I was using earlier to apply my foundation and just work it in.
making sure I smooth out that edge because it seems like it's still sharp. I need it not to be as sharp, but clean. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start bronzing my skin here, and I'm gonna use the, uh, let me get this one, which was the blending brush. I'm gonna use this one. Juvia's Place blending brush. I'm gonna use the color Tullum. I'm not gonna do too much of the um, contour, more like just bronzing up. so we're gonna leave that as that we're gonna go ahead and use which brush what is it the backup brush here we go um it's in the color carmelia carmelia i don't know if i'm pronouncing it it's kind of very glowy and shimmery not sure how i like that i may use that as a topper but then they're all kind of like glowy shimmery now that i'm looking at them yeah i guess it doesn't matter so I'm gonna use the Morphe Y5 brush. Just dip it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second there. All right, I wanna do the mascara. I'm gonna use this My High Club one from Wanda Beauty. Volume and length mascara. I believe I actually have one of these already from before, so I don't know if I should use it. I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna use this one. In case I do have one, I don't want to spoil it, I'll just give it away. Because it looks very familiar to one that I have, I just have to get it out. Because it's uh, away in one of my drawers. Deep down in the back somewhere. I have the ColourPop outside, uh, color outside the liner in the color, what is it, Dila? Dila, I don't know, it's like, it's the other one's too light of a blue, it's like a light baby blue. So I'm gonna use this one. Might even do the top ones. Let's go on to lining the lips. Now, since I have so much going on, I'm gonna go with neutral ones. It's a Tabeka Ultimate Lip Definer and Pouty as my lip liner. Yeah, this one's 
a good liner but I don't feel like it glides as easily as other ones have when I use like a gel type of lip liner but that just may be me because I'm speeding this up a little bit and I cover it in as much as I can so um, I want to go ahead and grab the um, lip gloss that I explained earlier that I had already from a previous um, box and that I just repurchased it give me one second Okay, so this is the uh, lip gloss. It's in, what was the color? Two Night Stand, there you go. It's a Too Faced lip gloss. It smells so good. I like that soft pink color. It's not super, super shiny, but it does have sparkle. And it looks kind of nude, very nude on my skin. It doesn't look as pink. That's it right there for the lip liner and the lip gloss. But that was the one, like I mentioned earlier in the video, that I had um, purchased. Well, not purchased. It came in one of the boxes from BoxyCharm months ago. And um, I had been using it sporadically throughout, and I really liked it, enjoyed it. So I decided when it was on... Um, the add-ons to purchase it again so um i just go ahead, went ahead and used it all right so now what i want to do is brush off this setting powder here all right got one eyelash out and let's uh wiggle it, loosen it up. Try to wiggle to soften up the, the, the strip, the boning on it, so that they're more flexible and easy to work with. Oh, well, I need to cut the edges off. Okay. And apply some of the glue. So I'll let that sit again so it can dry up a little bit. In the meantime, let me go ahead and start highlighting. So I want to go ahead and I think I'm going to use, am I going to use the Iconic? Oh. Yeah, I'll use the Iconic one to put the liquid on and then I use the Too Faced Diamond Light on top. Blend it in with my fingers. Ooh, pretty. It is a nice little sheen. Not so much a highlighter, but it, it is a nice, pretty sheen to it. It is very pretty, actually. I like it. I do like it. Should have bought these earlier. I guess I just didn't feel like spending the money on it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and with the Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. And what's it called? Pink, Fancy Pink Diamond. Dab into it around. It's so pretty, I don't really want to damage it. But how else am I going to try it on? I don't. sure if I see much going on here. That looks a little better. All right, that works. That part is now done. Now well, let's get these eyelashes on. Okay, so the first one I put on, let's see. Should get a mirror that's closer so I can see better. I'm trying to get this to set in and it's not doing that. It's lifting. All right, there. I think I got that one. Now let's do the other one. Okay, finally got this whole thing situated. Um, hopefully they'll stay on this time. <laughs> let's see. All right, but in the meantime, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup um, Blur Spray, which is a setting spray. It says to shake it well before using it. So that's what I'm going to do. Some of the items I didn't use were the other uh, Show Me Your Cheeks one. Um, 
a lot of the uh, skincare products that I didn't use and I didn't use the milk it has kind of a menthol alcoholic type smell Okay, bombshells. Now's the time everyone's been waiting for. We're gonna go ahead and spin my lucky wheel here to pick out the winners. I have already added the names onto this. All right, so as you can see, all the names have been added to the wheel and we're gonna go ahead and spin. All right, so let me write this down. Jill Oliviera is the winner of box number one, I guess, or the first box. I don't know which one she selected, but the first winner is Jill Oliviera. All right, let's go ahead. Just to confirm, can you see these guys? All right, that's the name on there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and spin again. And Yalice Bonilla. That's number two. Here's the confirmation of that. Okay. And the last one. Be number three. Negar SH. All right, so congratulations to the three winners of my very first Cherry Lux Beauty giveaway. That would be Jill Oliveira and Nialis Bonilla and Negar SHR. Those were the three uh, subscribers that won the boxes that I had um, to give away. I'll be giving away some other stuff in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Also, stay tuned for my next video that should be the MAC Selena collaboration. I have the um, second collaboration with Selena and MAC, and I also have the products from the first one, so I'll show you those as well. So, stay tuned for those. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my future uploads. Hit the like button on this video. Um, and don't forget to stay subscribed because you should be by now. If you're not, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below, give me your ideas, your suggestions, your likes, dislikes. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, that is all for me. I'm signing off. See you later. Bye.